I have the brand new Samsung Galaxy S3 here with me and I'm going to run it up against the Tegra 3 HTC One X on the left. So we're going to first start with Quadrant Standard and let's see how these two quad-core chips stack up next to each other. And here goes Quadrant Standard. The HTC One X runs the 1.5 gigahertz Tegra 3 processor while the Samsung Galaxy S3 runs Samsung's own quad-core 1.4 gigahertz Exynos chipset. This is the chipset that is going to be absent from the US versions since the US versions will have the Snapdragon S4 processor but that's a great processor in its own right so it'll be interesting to put those two up against each other when the US versions are released. Since these two are the first quad-core handsets on the market, we're going to run these two together and see which one ends up performing best. If you look, you can see some of the frames per second. They're, they're pretty neck-to-neck, -neck. but here you can see that the frames per second are dropping a bit lower on the Samsung side. And the benchmark is done. And the NVIDIA quad-core runs NVIDIA graphics while the Samsung Exynos version runs the Mali 400 graphics that's a little bit overclocked. And we can see here that the Galaxy S3 comes out on top here at 5004. Even though I've seen higher benchmarks than that, it's the first time that I've run it. And HTC One X at 4898. So the Galaxy S3 pulls out just a little bit on this benchmark, but not too different. It will be interesting to see which one performs better on a day-to-day -day basis, but they're both very snappy so far from my test. So next we're going to run Antutu benchmark. This is an extremely long benchmark, so I'm going to cut it short a bit. Alright, so we're going to run it on the same set on both just to get a fair running. And I'm going to run this kind of short. Alright, looks like the 1x is going through the benchmark a little bit faster. And here you can see the frames per second on the HTC One X. And let's take a look at that on the Samsung Galaxy S3. looks like the frames per second are a little bit higher at over 60, where the ACC One X was a little bit under 60. All right, now here's the final benchmark speed. The ACC One X finishes first at 10,517. That's a pretty good score. And we're going to wait for the Galaxy S3 to finish. And it is just a little bit lower than the ACC One X. So it looks like the One X wins on the N22 benchmark. But they're very similar in performance, as you can see. All right. Now let's go ahead and run Linpack and see how it does on the multi-thread. And the Galaxy S3, 119, 137 on the One X, 110, we're just going to keep going back and forth. Okay, 156 is the high so far. So consistently, consistently, it looks like the One X is more consistent on the multi-thread on Linpack so far, but they're still very similar in performance. All right, now let's go ahead and run Nenomark. 
And you can see I've already run it on the One X before and I've never run it on the Galaxy S3, so let's take a look. You can see the Galaxy S3 is just staying steady at 60. It's barely moving from the 60 mark, where the Tiger 3 version, you can see it's going back and forth. Alright, and it's almost over. And it looks like the Galaxy S3 wins on the Nene Mark II. So stay tuned for some more videos and thanks for watching.